Hello everyone, welcome to IELTS Energy TV. I am your host, Jessica Beck, and today I am going to give you tons of amazing, impressive vocabulary to talk about traditional clothes on the IELTS exam. All right, guys, let's get to it. So thank you to subscriber Yuvraj Sin Gohel for asking me to give you this vocab. You guys, this is super useful. I know because I have been an IELTS professional <laughs> for a very long time, as well as being an IELTS examiner for 14 years. So guys, I live and breathe IELTS. So let's get to this vocabulary. Um, so when I think of traditional clothes, now this could come up anywhere on the speaking exam or the writing test, guys. So definitely take notes today. When I think of traditional clothes, I think of um, like the, the people who follow Islam, right? So the women might wear a hijab, right? That piece of material that covers their face, but lots of different cultures have um, a piece of cloth that covers the head or the face. Either one is called a veil. So be specifically descriptive. What material is it? Is it linen? Is it cotton? Um, is it lace? If you cannot see through it, describe it as opaque. Now guys, remember I do put all of these vocabulary words spelled out below the video. So look at the description, click on show more so you could see all of this vocab, okay? Now, a very cool word for a, a longer dress with long sleeves is a frock. Not just for women, right? Traditional clothes in a lot of culture cultures for men also have them wearing a long um, garment so that garment could be called a frock. Awesome word. Um, now, sometimes you might have two pieces of cloth that hold up your pants, especially if you're a man. These are called suspenders, very specific. Um, now, just get into detail. Do some research about traditional clothes in your culture. For example, are there boots with heels, for example? Um, what materials are traditional shoes made of? Are they made of a specific wood, like pine or oak? Again, guys, um, material, cotton, hemp, linen. Do some research, find out what materials the, uh, these are and if they apply to your culture. Also, think of patterns, right? What patterns are traditional? This is very common for patterns to carry meaning in cultures. What colors are they? Instead of colors, say hues. Get specific, don't say purple, say lavender, right? What shapes are in the pattern? Patterns. Are they repetitive triangles, for example? Are they crescent shape shapes? A crescent is like a half moon. So guys, I have given you so much amazing vocabulary today. Definitely look below the video to see how it's spelled and just research your own culture's traditional clothes. So guys, if you're wondering what score you would get on the IELTS exam right now, I can tell you, take a very short two minute quiz Find out your score and get free resources specifically that I made for your IELTS level. So go to allearsenglish.com forward slash my score. Take that quiz and get to know your IELTS situation. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash my score. All right, everyone, I'll see you next week. Enjoy your IELTS studies. Bye. Bonus tip, get a seven or higher with the All Ears English app featuring real-time transcripts and vocabulary practice that will push your score higher. Plus, fun video lessons with Lindsay, Michelle, and Jessica. Download the app today at allearsenglish.com slash app.